Good morning. My name is Colleen Light. I am with CardsByCoco.com and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's Thursday at 10 a.m. So we're going to go ahead and make some of these fun little gift boxes. These are inspired by Connie Stewart. Um, if you haven't followed her, she has some really great um, great projects on YouTube. So I, I, I took the dimensions from her and I think we're just going to have a lot of fun creating it. I thought we would do another one in the Poppy Parade, but I think we're going to switch tracks and actually do, um, maybe do it in some Blackberry Bliss. I don't know. What do you think? Today is my daughter's birthday. Um, so happy birthday, Manda. And I thought what a better time to give a, you know, to do a good one another giveaway. So this is the Berry Blessings. This is from Celebration um, and it's never actually been used. I just didn't have the opportunity to use it so it's brand new. If you leave a comment on either my Facebook page or the YouTube video um, between now and then next slide, the morning of next Thursday, um, I'll enter your name in a drawing. Hey Tammy! And we will go ahead and um, hopefully have a good winner and we, or it's not a good winner, just any winner. <laughs> we can, um, I'll put this in the mail for you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with our project. I'm going to flip the camera around. Not very graceful at this. So um, just give me a sec here. Um, avert your eyes. I would definitely recommend that. Okay, let's flip the camera around. You're going to get a little look of my laundry room. Can you believe that's where I do most of my crafting is in my laundry room. Um, oops, sorry about the hand placement. I think I may have to raise you up a little bit. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to see if I can bring myself up here. Um, Right now I can't see what I'm doing, so let me see if I can bring you up on my laptop real quick and then we'll go ahead and get this project started. I really want to be able to see your comments today. So let me see what I can find. We'll just be another second. Um, oh, here we go, I got us. Okay, so does that look like it's in screen well enough for everybody? Oh, perfect. Thank you, Donna. So, okay, let's scooch up here and get started. These are our dimensions. This is going to be my disclaimer. I get, oh, Tammy says to bring it up a little bit, so let me see if I can do that. Let's see here. Um, hold on. We'll, we'll see. See what we can do. How's that? Any better? We'll get it. So, okay, hopefully that'll do the ticket, huh? Okay, so my disclaimer is don't ever follow what I say as far as dimensions in my videos. I am zero for five so far with getting them all 100% accurate. But I do post everything online within 24 hours and I'll have all the dimensions there. This is accurate, I know, this is upside down, but this is accurate because I worked it out for everybody. So what do you think? I had things ready for the Poppy Parade, but I think maybe we should switch gears and I should cut um, some Blackberry Bliss just because I think that is such a pretty color and I thought it would make it nice and Eastery. So funny story, well, not really funny, kind of funny haha, -ha, you know how people say. <laughs> I was working just so frantically trying to get things ready and I wanted to make this an Easter project. But I could not do that because um, I lost my Easter stamp. I don't know where it is. I'm hoping my Roomba will pick it up. Anyway, let's start with the Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to go five and a quarter. This is so easy such an easy project by eight and a half and this is how we are going to make the main body of this gift box um my husband is funny he was saying the other day as i was frantically looking for a small gift box in a store he's like 
and, and you know, of course he works construction. He's like, can't you just build one of those? And I'm like, oh, I guess I probably can. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> so anyway, this is our Simply Scoring Tool. Do you have one? If you don't, I think you should get one. It makes it so much easier. It comes with a stylus. It has a, a smaller, finer edge, and then it has the fatter edge. I like to use the fatter edge because I can be a little heavy-handed. So for me, it works out better if I um, use the fatter edge. I tend not to go through the paper as quickly. So we're gonna score it three and a quarter. And we're gonna flip it around, and we are gonna score at three and a quarter. We're going to flip it this way, and, and I have everything written out here. Hopefully you can see. Maybe I need to get a little bit more in the screen. Let's see here. And so we're going to score at three and a quarter. And we're going to score at two and a quarter. So I've never switched gears. I had everything all cut out, and then I saw the Blackberry Bliss, and I thought, and I'm going to switch gears. And I have never, ever done that before. <laughs> so wish me luck. Wish me luck. All right, see how easy that was? Easy, easy. And now we're done with our Simply Scoring tool. I'm gonna to flip this around so you can see. There's a pocket here that the stylus fits in. And I always put my stylus away immediately. Um, I, that way I don't lose it. All right, you're gonna hear it hit the floor on the tile because that's what I do. One, two, three, four lines. Oh, before I cut, I am going to, I am going to go ahead and burnish these edges. So Tammy, can you see? I mean, am I still too low? What do you think? Looking okay? Let's see here. We're gonna give these a little burnish. We want our box to be nice and crisp. And let's do that. So again, back to our four lines. One, two, three, four. That's where we want to snap. Let's see if I can bring myself back in so you can see. And we want to go just down to that scored line. Um, I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter. Do you all have Easter plans? Anybody coming? I thought this would make just the cutest thing to put in a basket. I've kind of gotten in that, well, not as much as past year, clearly, as with everybody else. Um, but I like to keep extra hosts, you know, extra gifts in the house. I have um, four daughters, and they always manage to bring people home. <laughs> you know, I'm sure those people with kids and large families understand you never just had your family, you always had some extras. So I always got in the habit of either making or buying extra gifts just to stash in a drawer or a cupboard because um, you never want anyone to be left out, you know. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm making tabs. And all you do is start from kind of the inside of your paper. You don't, not the center, of course, but just the inside and you angle them, that actually will give you a much cleaner um, edge when you put this together. So maybe as I'm sweeping up all my scraps, I'll find actually the Easter stamp I was looking for. And I'm telling you, I'm a tie and low for that thing, and I cannot find it. Does that ever happen to you guys? You know you have everything out, and you just cannot, um, seem to get it together. All right, I would also be using tear and tape on this as a general rule, but my order has not come in yet. And I just didn't realize until the other day I was out. But I did try it with our stamp and seal earlier today, and it worked just fine. So we're gonna put our box together. And this comes together just so beautifully and easy. So, making sure you line up your edges, and hopefully you can see this in screen, um, making sure you line up the edges. I'm gonna refresh just to make sure. 
just nice and on the edge and give it a little pinch. And we are gonna do that. Oh, this one doesn't have very much on it. Let me see if I can kind of hang on to it and put a little bit more. Because we do want it to hold together. So we're gonna do it again here and here. And that is the base of our box. How easy did that come together? And then for the top, we're going to do the same thing. And let's go ahead and do that. All right. Look at that. Oops, that one's not very even. Let's try that one again, for heaven's sakes. All right, can you see? I'm going to push this back just a little bit. So our box makes it a little easier to open. And there's the box part. See how quickly that came together? Okay, so we're gonna cut some DSP now. I loved this paper that we got in celebrations, but I never got around to using it. It just didn't happen. And it was kind of disappointing for me. I thought, oh my goodness. Here, all this wonderful paper. So as we were going into the new catalog, I thought it would be really kind of fun to go ahead and use some of this. I thought, what are we gonna do with all, what am I gonna do with all of my DSP? So we're gonna cut this, because I wanna line the inside. So we're gonna actually cut this at six and seven eighths. You all excited for the new catalog by the way you know that's that's rolling out pretty soon in one and three eighths I think I might have let's see if I did this right let me see this is what happens when I know I didn't did it wrong sorry my mistake one and three eighths thank goodness I have lots and lots of paper all the time huh A little bit too big. Try it again. Here's the one I had cut. Sometimes I get to cutting and I'm not exactly sure what I'm at. So let's do this here. Okay. See? I just want to line the, the top part of, sorry, I had it upside down, the top part of my box because I want things to line up a little bit differently and evenly and just look nice and pretty and finished when we're done. Okay, let me... Of course, now my computer's saying, oh, let us know when you want to restart your computer. And I'm like, not now. <laughs> Now's not a good time. <laughs> Worst timing could you possibly have? All right, don't need a ton of glue. We're gonna line this up on the inside here. And we're gonna just, I'm not gonna line the bottom because I'm actually filling this with chocolates. So I'm not gonna line the, line the bottom. I'm just lining the inside top part. Now, we're gonna have some more fun here. We're gonna cut another piece of paper. Use this piece here. And we are gonna do this one and a quarter by 10 inches. So, one and a quarter. Let me get this back in screen. I still think I'm in the running for the messiest stamper there is, I tell ya. I look, sometimes I look at my screen and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I look at my craft room and I'm like, yeah, that's the award for me, the messiest stamper. Okay, so that's the one in the 10 inch there. I'm going to show you how easy this comes together. So, 
let's do this. I'm going to open up my box. We are going to take one end here. Sorry, I'm trying to refresh my feed so I can see what, what I'm doing. It's hard because there's always a little bit of a lag. Kind of place it at the bottom there. Pinch. Give it another pinch up here, kind of fold it over. This is not an exact measurement. This is just getting this in there. Look at that. That's gonna be our top band. So I am gonna get this, whoops, just a little bit of a fold here. I am gonna start my YouTube channel today or tomorrow, whenever I get things edited and uploaded. So I would appreciate anyone who is following to subscribe. You know, you get you don't get your your own site. I, my understanding is you don't get to name your site until you have so many followers. Um, so I would appreciate that. And of course, for our prize in honor of my daughter's birthday, um, just leave a comment on either my business page or my um, new YouTube page. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna center that there. And I am going to bring this around. Look at how easy that is. Well, easy until I get it off center a little bit. Let's see if I can pop that up again. See, I spoke too soon. Let's just, it'll be fine. We just need to lift it up. There we go. Let me try it a different way. This one does not really have a pattern that you have to make sure it's up or down. Um, but, but if you are working with the strawberries, make sure that you line them up so um, they're pointing the right direction. I did, I did make one in my crooked person to line things up. Oh, here we go. It came undone here. This is where you really do. I think the tear and tape would work so much better um, for this box. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and forge ahead just because we're in the midst of our project. And when the tear and tape comes, I can add it. Look at how pretty this is already coming together. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> so here we go. I thought it would be fun to throw in a little bit more green in this. And so I have a piece of granny apple green cut at one and three quarter and five and a half to make our belly band. You know, now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of wondering if old olive, if the old olive would match a little bit better. And I think it will. So I think we're going to go ahead and recut this this old olive um, and we're going to cut this at one and three quarter and five and a half what are you all planning on doing with all of the dsp i know we all collect do you have any good projects are you um working on anything yeah i kind of like the old olive better so for a belly band, you want it to fit, but you don't want it so snug that there's no mobility because you need it to slide up and down so people can open up the box. Um, so I, what I do is I just fit it around. I just scooch it around the box, kind of make a little crease, just so I know where I need to place things. Um, We'll take my bone folder, give that a little bit of a sharper edge. These projects go so fast, um, and that's what I love. I love the fact that you can make, using our beautiful project products, I love the fact that we can make a lovely, homemade, thoughtful gift in really just moments. Um, and, and I do really um, think that is one of the benefits of stamping up. It makes everything so personal and um, thoughtful. And so that always makes me happy to do that. Yep, I like that color a little bit better. 
So, I don't think I brought in the Blackberry Bliss. But I did grab the Rich Raspberry, so that's gonna work. That is just gonna have to work. So I have to tell you, it's so funny. Well, it's funny, funny not, you know. Um, I just really wanted to do this in the Easter card. And I had that Easter stamp I have been using all week in my hand and set it down, never to be found again. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what happened to it, but it's kind of frustrating. So I want to cut this Whisper White, basic, basic White, whatever you're using up, and I'm going to cut it and a quarter inch, a one and a quarter inch. And the reason why is I'm going to show you that you don't need a new punch for everything. You, you, you don't. It's, I'm gonna show you how to use a punch that you have as long as you measure things accurately. Sorry, I keep wanting to scoot this closer to me and I need to leave it up here. So. I'm going to go ahead, since I can't find my Easter stamp, we're going to do Let's Celebrate You. And let's give this a nice little stamp here in the center. This is from the Celebrate Sunflowers. Um, it's a little off. Let's, let's try it on the other side. Um, a little crooked. Um, this is from the Celebrate Sunflowers which I, it's been one of my favorite all along, one of my favorite stamp sets. And now that spring is, spring is here, I feel like I can whip that out again and work on it. Oh, let me see here. All right, let me just rinse, I just touched that, so let me grab something just to wipe that off so I don't get a bunch of smudges. Hi, Kathy. I'm so happy. Oh, your first time here. Thank you. And thank you for sharing. This is how we are going to utilize our punch. And I want to make sure I'm in screen. Without having to buy everything brand new all the time. Oh, I think maybe I wanted this in an eighth. Let me see. Yep. I'm just going to take a little hair off of this. Have you ever, when you're preparing for videos, you know, sometimes we, I'm just gonna take a little bit off the top here. Um, sometimes we just prepare so well, and so we try out all these different measurements, commit them to memory, and we remember the wrong one. Anyway, look at how nicely that slides in. You go from the top. You don't need a brand new punch for everything. But shoot, I'm gonna use this one. Even, um, I smudge that one. You don't need a brand new punch for everything. If you cut it the size of your punch, you can slip it in through the top. And just because your sentiment is too long, um, you can still use it as long as you have the right width. And how easy is that? Um, I know we all love to spend money on our products and whatnot. I'm not very happy with the way that's stamped, but in the interest in time, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I will probably redo it after. I'm going to cut the, but I'm gonna use the back side. This is the beauty of our DSP. Lovely, lovely, all coordinates. And so we're gonna do it from one in an A, one, one in one eighth, inch. <laughs> and again, don't hold me to these measurements because you know, like I said, my disclaimer is read the ones when I do my blog and I link it because I get to talking and um, you just never know. You never know what's going to come out. <laughs> I'm going to kind of hold this. I want this a little bit longer. So I'm going to kind of thread this through together if it will let me. If not, I'm going to hold it. Um, hold it on, so yeah, hold it on this side. 
Gotta make sure we're doing it accurately. Let me see here. So I am not at all left-handed. So that's my problem with that. I want it just a little scotch longer. There we go. I think that'll work. I'm gonna make it work. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna just pop a little bit of adhesive back there. And see if I can center it. We all know that I'm gonna have a problem getting it on there either straight or even. There we go. Look at that. Didn't that work out so well? And you don't have to buy a brand new punch. Now this is the timeless label. I do believe this is on, on the last chance item. I don't think this one is staying around. Um, like I said, the new catalog is coming out. I glanced at it late last night. Um, I, I, what I will say is that I am super excited and I wish I could share all of the information with you. I am so excited that you will be able, um, when you're able to see this um, catalog, it truly is amazing. Um, there's something in it for everybody. The nice thing about being a demonstrator is you get you get these sneak peeks. You get to see what's coming along. All right, well, kids, I forgot my um, I forgot my um, what is it called? You you punch your your punch thing. Your hole puncher. So I am just going to use my paper piercer and make a little hole up here. Nobody's going to see. And I'm going to use some of this um, embroidered ribbon, which is very much a go-to for me. I absolutely love this. I don't know, without that bigger punch, I'm going to see if I can get it to start here. I sew quite a bit, so I'm pretty good at getting fabric pieces and everything to go to kind of work their way through. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do that. I know I'm kind of beating up the end of my, aha, uh -huh, kind of beat up the end of the tag, but I think that'll be okay. And I'm going to take enough to wrap it around a couple of times. Probably too much because that's how I roll. Oh, I hope the label me fancy punch is similar to this because this is one of my favorites. Um, I also think that I did bring in my big, um, not my big shop, my mini, um, whatchamacallit, my mini cut and emboss. I thought adding some greenery to this might be kind of cute. Um, you know, I, I brought in the Celebrate Sunflowers. I thought maybe we could just cut a couple of leaves and I don't want to tie that in the back, I'm sorry. I want to bring it around the front and make a bow. I just think there's an awful lot you can do with this. Um, you can add some greenery. You can add um, a little bit of extra bling. Um, maybe some flowers. I did not get the berry punch. Um, I think if you do have the berry punch, I, I would absolutely, I would, I would be punching strawberries left and right. Um, to, to add on this. You know, just give this a little clip on the end here. I was teasing my daughter because she's actually 34 this year. And I said, gosh, honey, I just don't know how we ended up the same age. So <laughs> these are the Gilded Gems. I think these are so pretty. This is my um, gift for the month of March only, March 2021. Um, with $35 or more purchase. And I thought, oh, you know, let's just add a little bling here and maybe another one up here, kind of get that going. I think I will add some greenery. I don't know that I'll do it during the video. I know that sometimes these videos can get kind of long. So I think I would add some greenery. But what I am going to show you is how we're going to fill this. Now, 
everyone knows I'm on the Weight Watchers, not an endorsement, just a necessary fact of my life <laughs> anyway. And I bought these, I bought these fabulous eggs, Easter eggs the other day, and I must have eaten about 10 of them in the last 24 hours. So I need to load these boxes up. This is how our box opens. We're gonna pop it open, and we are gonna fill this with our eggs just like this. Put in as many as can fit. There's other candies you can use. This just happens to be one of my granddaughter's favorites. Oh, too many. Let's take some of those out. Let me tell you, I like my chocolate. I filled that right up to the hilt, didn't I? <laughs> when we do that, the belly band goes right back on. Let me show you how this goes. Sorry, that really does need that tanner tape right at the top. That's a little, just needs a little bit of that tear and tape. And so hopefully it'll come in the mail today. But in the meantime, you all get the drift and how this is gonna work. Because I, and then look at that. So you either have a nice addition to your Easter basket, of course, and you can leave to let's celebrate you, but I would probably use an Easter saying. Um, nice thing if you were going to go to church and, and you had some special friends to bring, um, just a really nice hostess gift to, or to bring to somebody's home. Or if you do have some friends that you're able to visit with, maybe um, you're not in hard lockdown anymore, just a lovely gift to have in the cupboard to share with somebody. So, um, once again, I'm just going to go over the contest. Since I've never used the Berry Blessing set in honor of my daughter's birthday, this is going to be the prize I'm giving away. Just leave a comment either on this page, on my Facebook business page. Leave a comment on YouTube. I know I go fast. I don't like um, keeping people hanging forever. This DSP is expired. But use what you have. We all tend to have just stacks and stacks and stacks of DSP. So use what you have. These are the three boxes I've made. And um, clearly for all three, I have not been able to find the Easter stamp that I wanted to use. Don't forget, use your punches that you have. Just make sure you measure them correctly. No reason to buy everything all the time. And, um, Anyway, happy Thursday. Have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you next Thursday at 10. And as always, I so appreciate you joining me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.